Hey guys, we're here cooking again, and uh, Dolores is with me. Hi. <laughs> see, I'm glad you're sitting at this end because the last video I did, you were at the other end. I don't think we could ever see you in the video. <laughs> Donnie was here, Carolyn was here, and you were way down, and nobody could see you. <laughs> no, but we. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm glad that she's at this end, so now we can talk and do everything together. So I'm making one of Kayla's favorite dishes today. So, yes, Kayla, this is for you, kid. She likes this salmon. I do a salmon and it has a red onion beurre blanc. And beurre blanc is uh, white wine, lemon, and um, bu uh, butter sauce. There's a lot of butter in it. And I tasted it. Oh, yeah, I made some earlier and Dolores was taste testing for me. It has a little lemony taste, a little, a little you know. Lemony taste. Mm -hmm. And the butter is nice. Butter? Yeah. It's very rich. Very, very rich. Mm -hmm. But it goes great with salmon. And actually, I got this sauce. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. Uh, I used to work in a fish house, and the chef used to have this on the menu. But I'm not really cheating because he never told me how he made it. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure it out on my own. Oh, so basically, I really don't know how he made it. I know how to do a beurre blanc, and I sweat the onions out, and um, and then I just put it together. And maybe that's what he did. I don't know. He never told me. <laughs> but we used to eat it all the time, and it was well, delicious. Well, cooks can do that. Yeah, well, you know. You try to decipher menu uh, recipes, right, on your own. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna st I'm gonna do this two sides with it too, like a smashed potato and some zucchini. So I'm gonna be doing three things at once. What else is new, right? It's always multitasking. All right, so this is one large red onion. <laughs> Keep looking over there. I forget. I gotta look. In we gotta look into the circle, and I'm looking over there. <laughs> you know, because I'm looking at Rachel. <laughs> All right, anyway, so what I want to do is, we don't want to brown these onions, we just want to sweat them out. So I have some butter here, and I'm only going to use butter and the red onions, because we want to just, it's going to be quite a bit of butter, probably like half a stick, okay? And I'll just throw the rest in, because it is a lot. <coughs> this is like one large red onion. And why red onion, did you ask? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> you were going to ask, right? <laughs> All right, anyways. The red onions are like shallots. I mean, they are just get super sweet when you cook them, okay? They, you know, they just, they have a nice, they're harsh, they're stronger, but when you cook them down, they get sweet, really nice and sweet. They have a nice, I, I like the red onion, it has a lot of flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna soften these up, okay, and I'm gonna let those go. And then we also have some zucchini over here, and I'm gonna show you this, what we're gonna do here. See. What I do is I buy the zucchini, you know Dolores, I take my little brush, because I'm a freak and I gotta scrub everything, and then I, <laughs> and my lemons, my little pampered chef brush. See, both sides. And so, you know, you scrub everything, and then when I wanna, you know what you do with the lemons too, you know, I put them in the microwave for tw about 20 seconds, softens them up, so when you go to juice them, they're so, see how soft they are? More juice, and then it's easy to, to deal with, okay? All right, so you know that. But anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna just soften these up with, we wanna melt the butter. I kinda just did the uh, onions ahead of time because I didn't wanna wait. So normally you could start the butter in the pan and then add the onions, either way it's fine. But what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna brown these. You just wanna sweat them out and get them don't soft. No, them. no, you don't wanna brown them, okay? So that's it, we'll let those go and just keep an eye on them. <coughs> and soften them up. All right, so we have our zucchini here. Now with the zucchini, I'm gonna add a little olive oil. I always cook with olive oil too, right? You know, olive oil's a little bit better than using butter. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw a little butter in there too. Oh, yeah. A little butter, oil, right? Butter, so, so we're just gonna try to soften these up. But I don't wanna, so again, I don't wanna soften these too much. I wanna keep a little salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna get these a little soft. We don't wanna, uh, we don't want them mushy. No, no, no mushy. So we'll, we'll let those go and then I'll show you what we'll do with those, okay? So then we got those two and I'll show you the salmon in a little bit. But the, the main thing with this dish is to start the onions first and then we'll make the, uh, the sauce. And so this is funny. So beurre blanc is like, I was gonna make the beurre blanc on the camera but then I figured why I'll just do, because I cheat when I do the onion, red onion beurre blanc, I just throw the ingredients right in with the onions. I don't make the beurre blanc. So, but I did make the beurre blanc, and what you do if you want to make this, if you want to make this on the side, I don't know if you can get a picture of that. That's the, um, you, what you do is you saute a little shallots and butter. A lot of times people don't even do that step. They just throw the shallot, the lemon, and the um, white wine in together. But I like to soften the shallot a little bit first, in a little butter. And then you add your lemon. I did half a lemon, 
and like maybe a quarter cup of white wine, dry white wine. And then you reduce that down almost to nothing. And then you add heavy cream and a little salt. And you bring it to the boil and then you add a stick of butter and chunks, cold butter. And I used unsalted butter, one stick, and you add it in in little chunks and you make sure that you continually stir. You have to continually stir the beurre blanc while you're adding the cold butter. Oh. And you do it piece by piece and then until it's all melted in and that's what you end up with in the end, okay? See, that's what we tried earlier, see? Oh, yes. Now, if you don't want that chunky sauce, you can strain out the shallots and then just pour that over the fish at the end, okay? So that, this is basically the sauce I'm gonna make in here. But I'm cheating, I'm just doing it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it right in here and do a little, not as, not, not as, the butter's already in there, so it's not gonna be a heavy buttery sauce. And I'm gonna use some of that on top of the fish at the end, okay? So, it's a little variation. All right, and we have our little, now we're gonna show you my little potatoes. We're gonna do these smashed potatoes. And I wanna get these in the oven and then I'll talk about the salmon. So what I did is I sweated out one white onion in this in a little butter and oil. I did the butter and oil combo, just like the zucchini. Mm -hmm. See, and I just got them soft. Oh, yeah. Because these are gonna cook in the oven and it's gonna crisp up with the potatoes, almost like a hash brown, you know? Oh. And, all right, and I like to buy these little uh, golden Yukon gold potatoes. Oh, those are adorable. Yeah, I love these. I love these. And turn that down. All right, so basically what you do, just give this a stir. So you want to brown them on one side and then flip them over a little bit. There we go. We don't want to turn those into mush, right, Dolores? <laughs> All right. So anyways, I already, I brought these to a boil in salted water and I cooked them a little bit through because I'm going to put them in the oven and I want them to be partially cooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, see, they're already a little soft. I'm going to drop these right into the onion mixture, okay? Yep, I already boiled them in salted water, but they're not mushy. They're just, they're just kind of cooked, you know, like that. See? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down because I don't want these to brown. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter just to bring down that temperature so it doesn't, so it doesn't brown. That'll just bring the temperature down a little bit. And then, because this burner is very, uh, it could be at low and it's high. All right, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna get rid of this pan so you guys can get a, get a, yeah, see, all, Dolores bought me all these pans. <laughs> I love them, I use them all the time, right, Dolores? That's good. They're great. And then this pan was your mom's. I remember I got yeah. this from Eddie Lane. That's right. Yeah, and I've been using it. And what I'm gonna do here, well, let me just salt and pepper these a little bit first. Those cast iron are wonderful. You wanna salt and pepper your potatoes before we put them in the oven. Yeah, the cast iron are phenomenal. And especially for like a, um, a potato. Yes. You know, like ha home yes. fries, they just cook so much better. Nice. So That's look, this, this is another Pampered Chef. You know, I use this for ground meat, Crown crushes meat. it up good, but I also, look at this, this is a cute little trick, see? Yes. Look at that, you just you smash it. Yeah. See that? Can you get a picture of <laughs> This is fun, you know? You don't have to have fun, you have to be smashing things and <laughs> getting your frustrations out. <laughs> but look how pretty they make. It almost makes it like a little star. Hold on, Dolores, I'll come over and show you. But see, since they're already partially cooked, they break up very easy. Oh, that's All right, very so what easy. I'm doing now, see? They look like see a that? Star. Look, yeah. isn't that nice? Oh, that is nice. I like and now that. I'm just going to doctor them up yeah. a little bit with some ingredients. Yeah. Look how pretty. <laughs> I should get a picture of that with my, yeah. with my phone. <laughs> All right, before I, before I take a, oh, why not? <coughs> we'll put this on the blog too, these little stars. All right, we got our little onions going here and our zucchini. And then we'll have the main course. All right, so now, Dolores, I'm gonna add um, a little, olive. I have to add a little bit more oil because you wanna put the oil on the top, just a little bit. You, want the, you don't want the potatoes to dry out in there. You just wanna have a little moisture. Okay, a little olive oil. And if you guys don't like cooking with extra virgin olive oil, you can always use the lighter, you know, olive oil. It's not as heavy, which I use sometimes too. Okay, we're gonna make sure this is going. All right, so now we're gonna add our little cheese. We want a little grated cheese in there. We're gonna make like a little bake. 
<laughs> you like that? Yeah. Throw it all in there. And it's gonna, it's gonna be a, uh, I'm gonna add some scallion because I love the scallion on there. Oh yeah, scallions are my favorite. But you have the onions on the bottom too and that's gonna, that's gonna give you moisture. Okay, and then I'm gonna just add a little bit of the coarse Parmesan. I love the Parmesan cheese with this, okay? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's gonna be even prettier after it comes out of the oven. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna throw this in and now it's already heated like 375 degrees on convection. I use convection, so that's equivalent to like 400 bake. All right, so the oven, the um, onions are softening. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna add the wine in here. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the salmon. So what I did is I portioned out uh, six nice pieces of salmon, That's Atlantic nice. salmon, see that? And what I did is I washed it and I put it in the pan and I patted it dry. There's salt and pepper. And because I was using all these onion, uh, excuse me, lemon, I just grated the lemon zest over the top. That just gives it another extra flavor. And what you could do is you could make this sauce, put it in the pan, then put the salmon on top and cook it that way in the oven. But I like to do it separately because the sauce will reduce down too much in the oven. And I don't want that. I want to have a nice juicy sauce. So you just throw the lemon zest on there. See that? This way you don't waste the lemons. You know, you're using all these lemons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is the salmon and I'm gonna put this in the oven right now on broil. It's only gonna take like 10 minutes. But, so by the time you're done with the sauce, the salmon will be done because the pieces are not that thick. Yeah. You know, it would take 15, 20 minutes if it wasn't. But isn't that pretty? I mean, oh, that is very yeah, I like that. So we'll do that and then we'll plate it up when it's all done. But I always have to put the timer on so I don't forget about it. Because <laughs> so I've done that before. All right, so we got the red onion going here, right? And now we're going to add a little wine, a couple of tablespoons, quarter, maybe a quarter cup. I use the Pinot Grigio. Now the onions are nice and soft and the wine is gonna reduce down. Now we can turn it up a little bit because we wanna bring that to a little bit of a boil, okay? See, I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating with the beurre blanc. I'm making it right in with the onions, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we will add our lemon juice and I did half, half of lemon for this. You don't want too much. Lemon is, lemon is strong so a little bit goes a long way, right? All right, we'll bring that up to a boil. And it's all gonna be really, it's gonna be nice, nice and quick. And now I'm gonna show you with the zucchini. See how this is softening up here? That's nice. I'm gonna get, it. see how it's nice and brown, and lightly brown, Dolores? Mm-hmm, but you wanna have a little bit of a bite to your zucchini. You don't want it to be oh, mushy. Yeah, because zucchini is kinda flat. Yeah, and a lot of times I do um, just like an uh, onion and like fresh tomato and yeah. zucchini oh, yeah. just cuts through it and makes it a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Sometimes by itself it's kind of boring. <laughs> All right, you see how this sauce is getting thick almost? Not, it's gonna, not to the extent of this, but I'm gonna add a little cream to that and that's gonna bring it back up too. Cream and butter. No, I'm gonna do, it's heavy cream, heavy cream. Oh, but I, you could do creme fraiche. I think people do use creme fraiche. That's a good, that's a good point, Laura. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right, see, this is good. Now this, this is like a nice sweet sauce to go on your salmon. You're gonna love this. All right, so for the zucchini, look, it's already done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs. I do the seasoned uh, panko on the zucchini, see? Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> this is gonna be a weeknight meal. It wouldn't be the same if we didn't have dogs barking and uh, <laughs> alarms going off, <laughs> right? All right, so look, I added a little seasoned panko and a little bit of the coarse Parmesan Reggian. Really yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it can never be easy around here. That's right. <laughs> All right, you getting this? All right, so you just want to coat the zucchini with the fresh Parmesan. Hi, Lana. Lana's home. <laughs> Alana was going to do this with me, but I said it's... Grandma's here, grandma can hang out. So look, this is a great side. It gives it a little bit of a texture. You like that zucchini? There you go. All right, and then if you want, you can adjust it. You can add more cheese. I'll show you, I'll show that to you, Dolores. Right, I gotta turn this down. 
But do we want to just, we want to burn out a little bit of that wine taste. Yeah, you don't want to. For another hour and a half. Okay, and I'm gonna just throw in, a, I, meant, I meant to throw some parsley in the potatoes too, but I'll do that after. A little parsley on the uh, zucchini, okay? All right, and now I'm gonna show you uh, the cream. I'm gonna put the cream in there. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God you're here. <laughs> I'll be talking to myself. All right, so we want to just do a little swig around with the cream. And I'm going to throw in this last little pat of butter. And that's it. Okay, now we're just going to get that going. And look at I'm making my own little beurre blanc. <laughs> I made it fresh, but I'm doing it this way. Okay. Now, I had a... I could place the salmon on top of this and I could put it in the oven, but again, a lot of the sauce will reduce down to the point that I don't like. I like to have... All right, I'm gonna have... I might have to put this fan on just a little bit so that <laughs> so, so they all talk louder. <laughs> all right, see, it's coming along very nicely. Hopefully the alarm doesn't go off. All right, now I just wanna add a little bit of salt to this. Dolores, I'm adding your favorite ingredient, salt. Can you hear me? <laughs> hi, Bobo. <laughs> There's Alana, say hi. Let her up. Sadie is being very fresh, she wants all the attention. Somebody walks in the door, Sadie wants all the attention. And she'll bark until she gets it. <laughs> That's right, isn't that right? Mm-hmm. All right, so now with this sauce, the beurre blanc, I did use the shallot, and you, like I said, you can strain it out and make it, you know, a thinner sauce to go right over the top, which is very nice. I like that. You like that? Okay. So what we'll do is it went, we'll, uh, that's almost ready. Oh, those are coming out so good. I'm just going to turn this up a little just to get it going. Oh, you like that sauce? Yes, I do. Okay. So what I'm going to do, Dolores, I'm going to have you just, Taste that lemony sauce and see if you like it. Beurre blanc. Oh. Beurre blanc is like um, white wine, lemon, and um, butter. It's a butter sauce. I noticed some people put vinegar in it, but you would probably like the vinegar. Oh, yeah. Here, you try it. Oh, okay. I'm not feeding you. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, what did you, do? you hold it. Oh. Thank God she didn't say, ugh. <laughs> oh my God. See, I already made some earlier. I already have some. Yeah, it is nice. You like? <laughs> See, I think it's better when you just do it right in the same pan with the onions. Yes. So she had tried this one before. <laughs> yeah, you like that. All right, I'm going to take the salmon out and then we're going to plate this up and we'll be right back. Hey, we have everything. Everything's out of the oven. We did it. <laughs> and that, that was quick for a weeknight meal, right? right? Salmon took 10 minutes. The zucchini took 10 minutes. The potatoes, because I parboiled them. Those didn't take any time at all. And this is the red onion beurre blanc. I wanted to show this to you guys. And then what I do is I usually just pour it right over the salmon. Yeah. See, that's going to be, see, it came out. And you and you tasted the sauce already, so you gave you gave it the approval, right? Oh, absolutely! I like this sauce. So what I would do is just as to not like smother, I would just place it in this little pan like this. Oh, oh, I just see. do it on the side and make it nice and pretty. Oh, I see. But I have to tell you, this these onions are like super sweet, right, Dolores? The Is sauce sweet? they gave the salmon a nice uh, sweet sweet note to it, right? Oh no, these, oh, these are just the right red, red onions. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to do it this. So I, I don't wanna smother it because the salmon looks so pretty on its own, doesn't it? And then I'll just show you. We'll wrap these little onions around here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna show you. Now I'm just gonna drizzle the sauce right over the top, okay? Look at that. That's the best part, the beurre blanc. <laughs> All right, we got that word down, right? Yes. It is a good <laughs> and what's in it again, Dolores? Do you remember? Wine. Wine. And um, butter. Butter. And lemon. Lemon. And uh, the Ooh, that looks so pretty. There. Look how nice that is. 
And let me tell you, if your kids don't like salmon, they're gonna like this salmon because Kayla loves this. It, it just gives it such a nice flavor, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then, flavor is the most you need sauce thing. with fish, I think. I mean, I make the cod puttanesca, we've done that video, and that, the cod puttanesca, the, the puttanesca sauce makes the cod, I think. <laughs> you know, and I, I love to have a nice sauce with your, now look at the potatoes, Dolores. I added some fresh parsley at the end. Yes. Some nice baked. Oh, that is very nice. Nice in the cast oh, iron nice. skillet, okay. And then our zucchini, and I did again, because we were like all talking before, but I just did the panko seasoned yep. and the fresh nice. um, Parmesan cheese, the coarsely. Isn't that pretty? And then you have the extra bar blanc here, because I made it on the side. You could always just add it over the top if you wanted to, like that. And this has the shallots in it, but you really don't even need that. You don't even need that. You can see, just rub it in. There we go. All right, you want me to plate you some up? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, but if you don't like it, don't say you don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we'll give you your greens because you have. To give me an awful lot, but it's she says this all the time. Don't give me an awful lot. <laughs> These pieces are not that big, okay, Dolores? Right. And wait, I want to just hold on. Let me just get one little picture of this before, because <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> before. <laughs> Yeah, I want to put that on uh, on social media because that one looks delicious, doesn't it? Bye bye. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? Okay. All right, now we're gonna put this piece of salmon for Dolores. Oh, that's see how nicely that's cooked in there. And I'm gonna give you some of that sauce. And the red onions right on top. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys could do a prettier job. <laughs> All right, there. You want the. Yeah, and then you're going to have your potatoes, right? Yes, just Or make it Dolores' plate. Look at these. With the onions on the. Ooh. Ooh, that's cheesy, gooey. Dolores, I think you're going to like the potatoes the best. I think you All right, so we'll see. You give that salmon a taste and you tell me. If you Wonderful. like it, okay? What a pretty dish. Isn't that pretty? Well, oh, I, I, wanted, like I don't that. want to smother the salmon, but, no, but you I try it and I'll give you a napkin. Yes. I wanted to do a video that was a little quicker for people because I know people don't have time for this nonsense. <laughs> we have to be quick during the week. People are working. That's right. So That's right. this is something you could do quickly during the week. Ooh, look at that, Alan. That is... Is it good? <laughs> I think the onions really make it, honestly. So that's it. This is your um, your salmon with red onion beurre blanc, your panko coated zucchini, and then you have your smashed potatoes. And if you wanted to, you could smash those even further down and make them flatter, but I like them like that. I like them just like that. <laughs> this was so good to him. Dolores is like my biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> right? You always say that during the week. Oh, this meal is good. This meal is good. Well, she does. She I said, well, hope I'd rather hear that than this is not good. <laughs> all right. We're going to sign off. But I hope you guys try this recipe and all the other ones and share them. And Kayla, this one's for you. So now you know how to make it. Oh, Actually, very nice. well, say bye, Dolores. Bye. See you soon. Bon appetit. Now I'm eating. <laughs> bon appetit.